Giants season goes from horrible to something even worse with loss to Seahawks. The New York Giants were in the playoffs last season. They even got a postseason win for the first time since Eli Manning won his second Super Bowl. Giants fans were happy, and they should have been. The Giants seem to have a home run hire with the 2022 NFL Coach of the Year Brian Dable. Daniel Jones had a good season and the Giants re-signed him to a big contract. New York even figured out the Saquon Barkley situation, making him happy with a slight raise from the franchise tag he was upset about. There was justified excitement for the season. Then the game started. The Giants look like one of the worst teams in football, and their hole got even deeper with an ugly 24-3 loss to the Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks didn't play that well, lost starting Geno Smith for a bit during the second quarter due to a knee injury, and they still blew out the Giants. The Giants had a shot to get back in the game late in the third quarter, trailing 14-3. They drove deep into Seahawks territory. But Jones threw a bad interception that Seahawks rookie cornerback Devin Witherspoon, who had a tremendous game, returned 97 yards for a touchdown. That play sums up the Giants' entire season to date. The only thing keeping the Giants from an 0-4 start was a furious second-half comeback against the Arizona Cardinals. In the other 14 quarters the season, the Giants have looked horrendous. Giants' offense implodes. This seems impossible but it's true, the Giants have been outscored 77-9 in the first half this season. They're the only NFL team without a first-half touchdown. Usually coaches, especially offensive-minded coaches like Dable, do well in the first half because they script plays for the beginning of the game. Whatever Dable is scripting, it's not working. Not having Barkley, who was out with an ankle injury, doesn't help. Being without standout left tackle Andrew Thomas, who was also inactive due to an injury, is an underrated blow. But other teams have dealt with injuries, and they have managed to score a first-half touchdown this season. The Giants didn't get any big plays, and they didn't try. Jones never threw downfield. Part of that is due to an offensive line that isn't playing well. The Seahawks had five sacks in their first three games, then tied a team record with 11 on Monday night. It's also due to the Giants' absolute lack of a receiver that can threaten a defense. But it's also on a coaching staff that needs to generate some offense. It's too early to wonder if Dable is another Matt Nagy or Kevin Stefanski, who wins NFL Coach of the Year off a strong first season and fades quickly after that, but the start to his second season has been really bad.